Hey there, so in this video I would like to talk about this image out there and it's called the Wall Street Cheat Sheet Psychology of a Market Cycle. Now this image isn't new, it's been out for, I don't know, maybe a couple of years now. And the reason why I wanted to bring it up is because I still think that it's uh, it's still pretty relevant to uh, Bitcoin or cryptocurrency even though it talks about Wall Street. So even though this is an older image, the psychology of people don't change, right? So it doesn't matter what market it, it is in, you know, whether it's gold or uh, stocks, bonds, or uh, commodities, I mean, crypto. So, I mean, all markets, as it says, it's a market cycle. All markets go through this cycle here. And if you look over here on this, uh, it, I guess this hill looking image, the price will always go up and then back down and then back up, right? And if you look at this part here, this is a section of right here from the contraction to the expansion phase, right? So this is one full cycle. And what happened is that uh, it, it's, it starts off coming on to the hope, uh, disbelief, optimism, belief, thrill, euphoria, and then back down through all of these not so good emotions, and then it comes back again. So for myself, I've been into crypto in since early 2017. So I would say I probably came up over here, and it wasn't. I mean, for myself, I only got into it because a friend of mine had got me some Ethereum for some for my birthday, and. After I just, just, I didn't really think much of it, but then uh, just after seeing the price go up and I was just, wow, it, it was crazy because I, I had never seen coins or something go up in massive returns like that. So definitely there was a sense of euphoria at the end of 2017, right? And then I can say that uh, I've seen people on crypto Twitter or Reddit, just kind of going through these different stages right here. You know, you got complacency, capitulation, anxiety, denial, panic, anger, depression, so on and so forth. I, I you know, I would, unfortunately, I did, I have read posts where people were, people were very depressed about buying at the top and, you know, they put in their life savings and, uh, or how they took out a mortgage and stuff like that. And it's just, uh, yeah, it, unfortunately, I've been, I've seen the good and I've also seen the bad of, uh, of crypto. And yeah, so I think also 2018, end of 2018 was probably around here when we went through the anger and then boom, it just went down, uh, straight shot. And then it started going up and that, that I would say that would probably be June of last year, June 2019. And we're possibly around, I don't know, maybe in the hope stage or maybe disbelief. I don't know. Um, I mean, because of the having or the having that's coming up with Bitcoin, we might be around here. I'm still not sure, but I, th I, I think that this is a great resource to just kind of use as a, to keep in the back of your mind that all cycles, including Bitcoin, will go up, come back down, and then go back up. If you believe in the long-term value of Bitcoin, then yeah, I'm sure it's going to go up. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to kind of take a look at the price of Bitcoin and compare this to it. Okay. So here's a here's an image of uh, Bitcoin or the chart of Bitcoin, and it's on using TradingView, and I'm on Bitstamp on the weekly. And if we just look at this just generally, right, if we compare it to the market cycle, you can see it goes up or up here, down, up here and down, up here and down, right? Because this is on log scale, uh, you can actually see the uh, the market movements. But I mean, from this here here to here, it's it's a pretty steep drop. If we, if we look at it, 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 it went down, what, like 80, 90 percent, right, from here. All the way up here to down here that was what 80 something percent and if we look at here to here you know 75 percent i mean like you could have got bitcoin at 260 260 dollars and went all the way down to what 62 dollars right so just to kind of show you that 
Bitcoin does go through these market cycles where you go up to the euphoric stages and then anger, depression, and then back up again to um, euphoria, all the way back down, right? So I think that this is just something to keep in mind if you are looking at the price of Bitcoin on the daily or even uh, short term where you're just kind of looking at maybe uh, 15 minute charts and you're trying to trade it. Not, I'm not saying it's bad to trade, but uh, one thing I would say is look at the long term picture here, right? So look at the long view of Bitcoin. And if you go from, you know, let's just say what, uh, 2012 all the way to where it is now, you've got, look at this. That's, that's just, I can't, I can't even imagine that. What, what, what that's almost 400,000% return on your money, right? So just, just keep that in mind. All right. Well, yeah. Any, anyways, uh, I hope you found this video informative or educational. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up or uh, leave a comment down below on what you liked or what you didn't like. And yeah, if you're interested in interested in receiving notifications of my future videos, then hit that subscribe button. But yeah, other than that, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.